by the power of Neverland. I have a podcast! All right, Neverlanders, this is it. Free comic book day. What is this today? May 7th? Yes, May 7th of 2016 is Free Comic Book Day. It's also the release of Captain America Civil War. So I'm going to begin my own festivities by, of course, seeing a movie first and then hit up some free comics later, either on my own or I have some friends that might be able to come with me. They have other things that end up having to do. But, you know, off we go. I gotta hit the pause button. Pardon me. Okay, so we've made our first stop post-movie here. Uh, the first place we went to here is a place locally, uh, and I there was a five limit. So I did pick up the Phantom, this um, some sort of reprint, a tick. And of course I did manage to achieve my goals now that Steve Rogers is back being Captain America again. And of course because there's a second Civil War movie tie-in, pretty much. But it's a different story, and I got my Doctor Who, but I was limited to five things. So that's why you bring your wife, because she'll pick out some interesting stuff and... So what did you pick up? Did you find something? And she likes to get different things, so. Grumpy Cat. A Grumpy Cat comic, yay! I think they had one of those in their free comic Yeah, I think that, isn't that where the, the toy that protects you in the middle of the night, your yeah. teddy bear? Yeah. Their little fight. I think you grabbed that last year, too. Yep. And then that one just looked interesting. And that one looked interesting. Okay, it looks like it's some sort of a, I forgot what they call it, steampunk sort of thing. All right, but we got other places to hit because there's other things I want to get. And since I was only limited to five, I have to hit more places. So off we go. All right, so second visit. I don't expect much from this. There's there's a cartoon coming with this, but my problem is, is okay, superhero girls. That's all fine and good, but um, I'm sorry. Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, superhero girls. Mm, no. Uh, we're dealing with one person who is a psychopath that values plants over human life and will wipe all humans off there if it means saving one plant. Uh, Harley Quinn, I know they're trying to make her more of a hero thing and try to get away from the Joker, but I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. She's still psychotic. But I did get some art by Adrian Ropp, who uh, has worked on the Disney Infinity, uh, did like storyboards and such. Eric is trying to get him on the show. Uh, they're just trying to find time, but this apparently is his artwork on a Pink Panther comic. And it's kind of funny, there's a bit of a Thor joke going on here. Ooh, I'm making a mess of my stack. And just because I was curious, like, a Bruce Lee comic. I mean, how cool is that? Seriously. This one I got because, okay, Howard Lovecraft, is that what H.P. Lovecraft's real name was? And so I was just curious. <laughs> and then the old Bongo free-for-all. Uh, looks like it's mainly featuring some Simpsons here, but I figured I'd check it out. Now, I was hoping to find a Spongebob comic in there. There's a Spongebob for today, but um, due to the limit of five, I wasn't able to get one at the last place, and they just didn't have it here, uh, which means I have to go to somewhere else to look for a Spongebob comic, so off I go. Well, I did get lucky on one thing here. I did find the Boom Studios collection, which does have a Labyrinth comic, and Mouse Guard, which normally Mouse Guard used to come out in like a hardcover. And it's very cool. I do enjoy Mouse Guard, a uh, Mouse Guard, although I've never actually bought any of their actual issues. I've only ever gotten the free ones. Should amend to that at some point. Uh, and just because I've heard of it, Attack on Titan. I know nothing about it, other than I, I think there's a movie coming. I don't know. I've never watched it. <laughs> and I got this mainly for my wife. Look, a whole collection of Shonen Jump. I had seen this sitting somewhere with One Punch Man, um, and I believe Dale of the Decast hasn't he recommended One Punch Man? Uh, but. Uh, it looks like this is a collection of a lot of different uh, manga stuff, so got that for the Windy Nerd who's over here reading about Grumpy Cat still. And then I just spotted this. Uh, basically, there, I think it's just going to be an ad for some of the greatest Marvel stories. But, you know, it's free. And it should be interesting. I might actually already have this because I, I recognize this cover and I think I grabbed it. But, oh well, maybe I have an extra one. I might give it away to somebody that didn't get to go. Okay. And still, I didn't manage to get SpongeBob. She looks pretty broke up about it. But now uh, that's, I guess, my haul. I've been to all my major places, and I did see the SpongeBob in one spot, but we were limited to five, and so I didn't end up getting my SpongeBob comic I wanted to get. So, oh well. I can always watch them on TV. 